<laughs> nice work, guys. Oh, homeroom. You poor kids must be exhausted. Feels like all your other instructors are dead set on cramming your brains with as much material as humanly possible. Hmm. I want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Still, this is exactly how we wanted it. Right. They're doing it for our sake, so I don't mind it so much. There's no way we could cover everything in class, so it's sweet of them to give us the bullet points while they still can. It's paying off for us in the long run, yeah, so we owe them a lot. Forcing you to try and keep up with us is a little unfair of us, though. Yeah, you're gonna have to do all of this again next year. Hmm? Are you sure you're fine with this arrangement? What arrangement? Of course. This is to my benefit, too. If I get all of this crammed into my head now, maybe I can even come out on top on next year's midterms. Is he gonna repeat? Well... That's some confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you actually did it, though. He did pretty well in the midterms this year, too, remember? <laughs> I'm probably just being too optimistic. Nah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Guess we'll know for sure next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow's the day you've all been waiting for. Your next free day. Oh my god, it's like, it's been a while since we, had, since we had one of those. I know you've got enough schoolwork to choke a horse, but try to carve out a little time for your clubs and all that youthful jazz. <laughs> the forecast for tomorrow is clear blue skies. Might be the perfect chance to sneak off and get into some ooh la la with that special <laughs> someone. Um... <laughs> and truly, you teach us all by living your life as a shining counterexample. <laughs> Spoken like a true lifetime member of the Lonely Hearts Club, Instructor. <laughs> hey! I'll have you know that there are plenty of guys who would do anything for a private lesson with <laughs> yours truly. <laughs> but if that many men are interested in you, how can you spend so much time drinking alone in your room? I think the polite thing to do here is just smile and nod. <laughs> If you keep setting your sights on guys like Laura's dad, hmm. you might as well just buy a couple cats and get it over with. <laughs> oh man, Sarah's getting burned. <laughs> uh, it does seem like she's fighting an uphill battle to find a good match. Hmm. Ah, just you wait, guys. In two weeks, when you see the hordes of chiseled, elegant gents draped over me, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> Ah oh, man, school life. It's been a while. So what are we Time gonna do? Really does fly. It's hard to believe our last free day is tomorrow. Yeah, it felt like we still had more time. <laughs> For me, it feels like it's been ages since I last had one. I suppose it would. Were you able to rest up at all while you were away? Not really. It was basically work, work, work the whole time. I did get taken into Crossbell City during what time off I did have, but I can't say I felt very comfortable there. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Indeed. That must have been more painful than anything. To the people of Crossbell, we Erebonians are aggressors. I can hardly imagine they would welcome us with open arms. Well, they did nuke Gorelia, so... That doesn't sound like it'd stop Lecter from living it up over there, though. <laughs> He did take me to a casino once, actually. He won so much, he might as well have been cheating. Shocking. <laughs> it always feels like people who like gambling really like it, huh? Yep. Crow. So, does anyone have anything planned for our free day? Remember, it's the very last one, so make it count. We wouldn't want to end the day with any regrets. True enough. Although, I wonder if I'd end the day regretting that it has to end in the first place if we made it too much fun. I've got so much that I want to do, I'm not sure where to start. I know I want to attend practice, at least. Oh, same. 
I've got to go taste test some new dishes for the cooking club, plus Crucius has a new menu up, and... Hmm. How many stomachs do you have? <laughs> <laughs> will you be helping the student council tomorrow, Reen? That's the plan. It sounds like Toa will finish handing all her work over to the others today, but they're bound to be busy. So I thought it'd be nice to take some of it off their hands, whether they like it or not. Hmm. Ah, Reen, ever the reliable gopher. <laughs> That's a very you response. <laughs> if there's anything we can help with, let us know, okay? Well, I guess I'd better get going. I could go straight to the student council room, but it's my first time back in over a month, so it would be nice to take a walk. Maybe I should go and see how Valimar's doing, too. Reen? Hello? Hmm? What's up? Nothing, really. I just wanted to spend a little more time with you. Hell yeah! Well, I'd love that too, but are you sure you can afford to? I mean, you have that meeting with the lacrosse club about tomorrow, don't you? I know, but that can wait. Right now, I just want to be with you for as long as I can. Please? <laughs> oh, well... How can I say no to a cute face like yours? Oh, no, 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 no. How can you say no, period? Nothing would make me happier. <laughs> Student life. Okay. Classes are now over for the day and you can walk around the academy grounds freely. Okay. After visiting the building accessible through the engineering building... What? After visiting the building accessible through the engineering building... What the hell? And speaking to Toa, the story will advance, alright. Traveling clothes. Mm hmm Is that Elisa? Nope. Colette. Why? Mm -hmm. Okay. Walk around the academy. So we have to go to the engineering building and talk to Toa. Alright. Oh, there's catastrophe. Catastrophe. Where the hell is Elise and uh, Princess Alfin? Yeah, let's just talk to Elisa and then we'll head on to the engineering building and then go to Toa. Oh, I think, I guess this is the meeting of the lacrosse club. Mm hmm. Alright, so let's head on to the engineering building. What up, George? Oh. Oh, Angelica. Hey there, Rain. Looks like someone's done with class for the day. Hmm. Yep, just got out. Wait, is that? Yep, Angie's brand new bike. Oh, all right. We started building it for you, but then we had a change of heart. I just couldn't tear you away from your current ride after you'd grown so attached. Hell, it had a it has a picture of Elisa, so you can pry it from my dead cold hands. Now I feel bad, considering I pretty much did just that to you. Hmm. Your new one's got a pretty cool design, though. Don't get too jealous. Specs are pretty much the same as yours. Well, before Angie tunes it up and adds her custom gear for distance riding, that is. But distance riding would mean you're planning on going off on some big journey, aren't you? Ten points to rain. I just felt like it was time for me to go out and see the world for myself. My martial arts teacher did the same thing once, so I'm sure it'll be a valuable experience for me. The plan for now is to travel through the entirety of Zamiria. 
Zemuria. That's not a very specific plan, and a pretty sizable journey. You can say that again. I have no idea where she finds the energy. Oh, really now? Your plan to visit the continent's most famous engineering factories is pretty much exactly the same thing. <laughs> you really think so? I take it you'll be leaving Erebonia for a while too, George? Seems that way. First stops the Burl and ZCF. Always wanted to see it. After that, I got my heart set on a trip to the Epstein Foundation over in Le Mans State. While I'm at it, I think it'd be nice to pay a visit to the Vern Company in Calvert too. Will you even be able to get into Calvert at this point? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't say it'd be easy, but I think I can pull some strings. The real reason for this trip is to figure out what I can do as an engineer to help smooth over our international relations. Meeting the continent's finest engineers and discussing things with them should really help get the ball rolling on that. You thought that far ahead. That's really admirable. I hope you can find a way to make that happen. Even though I feel kind of hypocritical saying that, as someone who participated in the war. Don't beat yourself up over it, Reen. You have nothing to be ashamed of. That was your only option, given the way the Chancellor set things up. Mm -hmm. Your actions actually helped us avoid an even longer, more brutal war. But... Angie's right. You played a role that no one else could have. Just think. If things kept going the way they were going, we could have been at war with all of Crossbell. I don't even want to imagine the number of lives that would have been lost if you hadn't stepped in the way you did. Of course, us telling you whether or not you should feel guilty doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It all comes down to you facing your own feelings over what you did. But there's one thing we'd like you to remember as you do. You're not alone, Rain. You've got friends who understand why you did what you did. Sometimes, I wonder how I was lucky enough to get such good ones. Thanks, you guys. This really helps. <laughs> Don't mention it. On a completely different note, why don't you pay Valimar a visit while you're here? Yeah, that's Spared a no expense making sure he'd be nice and cozy in there. I think I will, but not to discredit your coziness efforts or anything, but he seems fine no matter where I leave him. <laughs> well, aren't you a sweet chevalier? Maybe hmm. I'll check in on him in a bit, too. <laughs> so, where's Valimar? Oh, sold out storage building. We won't advance the story yet, right? We need to talk to Toa, so... What up, Val? Hey, Valimar. How you holding up? Relatively comfortably. <laughs> My ability to self-repair means that maintenance is not mandatory. But I expect it will increase my operating efficiency. Glad to hear it. This is going to be our new home base for the time being, so you can get in as much maintenance as you need. I'm gonna need you a lot in the days ahead, Valimar. I will strive to meet your expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, something wrong? Not as such. I thought I sensed something unusual. But it must have been my imagination. You really are getting to be scarily human these days, you know? Hmm. What was it you sensed, though? A person? I am unsure. It may have simply been a fluctuation of the Earth things below us. Similar fluctuations are hardly abnormal. Well, if you don't think it's anything worth worrying about, I'll try and put it out of my mind. If you sense anything strange in the future, though, let me know, okay? You can tell me... telepathically was the word, right? Indeed. I shall use it to inform you, should I sense anything is amiss. Okay, so they do have telepathic link. Alright, that's cool. Okay. Guess we will talk to Toa now. Hello! Mm -hmm. Maybe Toa was buried or asleep again. <laughs> yep, I knew it. Hmm. No wonder she fell asleep. She must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> 
makes me remember finding her like this over in the computer room. Oh, right. I probably shouldn't look too much or she'll get mad when she wakes up. Hmm. Angie. George. Crow. <laughs> they must have fallen asleep. <laughs> Sorry for coming in without permission. I did knock, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I, uh, uh I did try to look as little as possible. Well, if you say so. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, mm. really. Uh. Come with me. Um. Mm -hmm. w what's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all, and I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. No, I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now, but... That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. Okay? If it gets too much, it's alright to sit down and let it all out. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <gasps> I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so, so sorry. I promised I'd bring him back. I promised I'd make him graduate with you, but I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt too. So, don't get so worked up about it. I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. <laughs> well, hmm. I guess we're even then. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Yep. My days of being president are almost done. The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. Mm -hmm. Still, it must have been hard work getting through it all. You're going on a tour of various NGOs after graduation, right? Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. Politics, economics, engineering, medicine. After that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. Well, I'm pretty sure they'd both love to have you. There's no chance either one would say no to you. Especially since taking a year off hasn't made them any less determined to recruit you. After all you did with commanding the courageous, it's no wonder you're so in demand. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. Still, I feel like it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. I don't know what path I'll choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little overdramatic there, though. Not at all. After how much you've done for this academy, I can only imagine how much you could do for this country. Just try not to overwork yourself, okay? We're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? I mean, I'm happy you did, but... Oh, I'd completely forgotten too. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. You've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all of the others. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't feel like our final free day is class 7 if it were any different. Well, if you 
say so. Are we gonna do request? What? Okay. I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. And thanks for offering. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to do some more requests here? Maybe? Voice, voice. What? Oh, okay. Oh, I think they're complete now. Yeah, they finally get to walk back to the dorm together. Well, Crow's not there, but what can we do? Hmm? Yeah, the last time they walked back to the dorm as a group, Fee and Laura had some some of their misunderstanding. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> the best friends. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Laura. Why'd you gotta be like that? <laughs> yep. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Scumbag Sarah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I think they're just uh, what's the word? Or something remembering what happened during the first game. All right. Mm hmm. <laughs> They're just reminiscing. Yeah, there. there that's the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty sure Sharon's back at the door. Hmm. That won't be necessary. There it is. <laughs> Called it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sharon? What reason could you possibly have for being hmm. here? The chairman gave me her permission to return to my former mm -hmm. position as your dormitory's caretaker. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Oh, well, how about that? Hmm. I'm fine with this. 
We will gladly accept your offer. <laughs> Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. <laughs> How do you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Reinford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up. Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, oh, everything right. is back in order. He and the chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. Nice. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the former hmm. and current chairman make quite a team, I see. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Hmm. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Oh, why are you here? <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines. If you'd like a snack to accompany your beer, would you like them alongside your dinner? Uh, damn it. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. You know, considering her affiliation. Hey, who's gonna castigate her? I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Mm -hmm. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants. Yep. Evenings at Trista. Whew, I think I might have eaten too much. Hmm. It's been so long since we last had Sharon's cooking. She hasn't lost her touch. None of it feels heavy on my stomach at all. Well, that's all my work done for the day. Maybe I should go see how everyone else is doing. Hmm. Okay. Start work. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're back to the normal operation of things. Yeah. This was Crow's room, right? Here's Crow's room. Yep. I think I'll stay away from it for now. I feel more like going around and talking to everyone. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I want to end the video, but I'm not sure how long the next part is, but, yeah, I guess uh, I will have to end the video here. The one event there in uh, Crossbow was, felt kind of weird to me. And I guess the, dev the devs have something planned for it. But anyway, I will be ending the video here, so hopefully uh, we finish the game tomorrow, uh, in the next uh, recording session. So if you enjoyed this... Reunion back at Thor's Military Academy, hit that like button, and if you wish to be updated on my uploads, hit subscribe and the notification bell. You can also follow me on social media, links will be in the description down below. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.